Hey, hey, hey. Hello and welcome to this well, really funny tutorial about flow motion. Because today I'm going to show you this. While you are probably thinking, oh, ooh, well, we will learn how to create this bloody mess, I am telling you that you will learn so much more. Because I thought about doing a compositing tutorial that has almost each compositing technique in it. So today we will use each trick out of the box. Keying, rotoscoping, tracking, mesh tracking, stabilizing, maybe also a little bit about cheating with some comp tips and tricks like with the clone stamp tool. And I will show you how to work with footage elements. So in today's video, the elements will be from actual VFX. And now comes the best part. One of you will win a full year subscription to their most intense plan, meaning instant access to over 4,000 premium VFX assets. So worth more than 19,000 bucks. So just watch till the end to find out how you can be the lucky one. Okay, but now back to the tutorial. We need some shots for this. So one shot with me pretending to hold my head and pretending to have my head already cut off. So I used a little trick here and put that rubber band around my neck. So in that way, I have a clean line for the mask later on. And the second shot is the head only. Here I used a green suit for that, but I will also show you how to do it without. And in that shot, it is also important to grab your hair so we can comp it way easier later on. And we actually need two more shots. I think you guessed the first one. Yes, a clean plate or any kind of background. So if you are doing this without a green screen, simply take a shot without you in the frame. And the last shot is not that obvious, but you need a still of your fist because that will make all of this super easy later. Believe me. So let's bring our first shot into After Effects and simply key it with the key light effect. Again, I will show you how to rotor it on the next shot. Now, with a simple mask, let's get rid of my head. And remember that we have a marker for that already, so it's super easy. So let's finish this up with the blood elements. So I use this one that is already especially made for a cut off headshot. So let's bring it in. And I also have this still image, also from Action VFX, that I simply place over my neck. Perfect or not perfect, because now we need to find a way to have the blood sticking to my body and on my arms. Okay, let's fix it first for the first frame so that we have a reference. And I can do that here with the mesh warp tool. I simply warp it until it perfectly aligns with my body. And if I need more detail, I can increase the rows and columns. And once happy, let's pre-comp this so those elements have the same dimensions as our footage. Hey, and this is essential for the tracker to work properly. Okay, looking great. But now, how can we track a mesh on our body? And the answer is a mesh tracker. And Mocha Pro has exactly that. So let's quickly go through that process here. I apply Mocha Pro and open up the Mocha window by clicking on the logo. And if you think about purchasing Mocha Pro, there's a link in the video description that will give you a special discount. Why not? Okay, in here, let's define the area we want to track. And this will be everywhere where we will get hit by blood. So basically everything. And when I scrub through this, I can see that we have an issue. As my hand is covering the part where the blood will land. So let's also create a mask around my hand and use that as a holdout mat for the tracker. This means the tracker will ignore everything that is within this mask. So all I need to do for that is to place it on top of my body mask. And you can also see what is going to be tracked. If you click on that icon. So everything with a white tint is being tracked and you see the hand is being ignored. Perfect. And remember, we want to mesh track this. So let's enable mesh and we can also change to mesh size for more detail and set it to uniform. So we get a consistent mesh. So all we need to do for that is to hit generate mesh once we have set it. Now let's just drag forward. Once done, we go to the first frame as we also have our reference blood aligned to the first frame. 
and we also want this to be full frame here. At the moment, you can see what you are tracking by clicking on that planar surface tool and this creates a box around our mesh. But we want the box to be around the whole frame. Hmm. And there is a button exactly for that. So click it, save it and close it. Back in After Effects, we have the effect on our footage layer with all the mesh data stored within it. So how can we get it onto our blood layer? Well, easy. Simply copy the effect and paste it onto the blood layer. And now we want to see the blood mesh rendered. So go to the render module and enable render. And for the module, let's choose the warp course. And now when we play this back, we see that our blood sticks perfectly. But it is also on top of our hand. Hmm. So a very easy way to fix this is to copy the footage on top, make a rough mask around the hand and use the extract effect. So we want to get rid of the dark parts here. So let's solo the hand and when we drag this over, we now only have the hand, so the bright parts. Super easy and super fast. Speaking of super easy and super fast, I want to make this more realistic and therefore want to have a mask of my shirt only. So I can treat the blood differently where it hits fabric and where it hits skin. So let's open our footage and we will roto out the shirt. Because remember, I want to show you all tricks for compositing. So now let's use the new roto brush tool that is now finally available. It is version 3 by default now. And version 3 is AI powered. Meaning it detects objects and can remember them. So what does that mean? Let's try it out. Double click on the footage to get to layer mode. Now let's use the roto brush and paint on the shirt. And if I want to remove something, simply hold down Alt while painting. And before version 3, I had to go through all of this and repaint every once in a while, because for example, my hand is covering the shirt and After Effects simply forgot what's behind it. But as I just mentioned, After Effects now knows that this is a shirt, so once the hand is gone, it needs no extra input to detect it again. Well, because now it knows it's a shirt. Anyways, so all we need to do is to freeze this and voila, we have a rotoed shirt. And with that, you can do so much now. But I will maybe just blend it over all a little bit. So the blood is less obvious on the dark shirt. And maybe also create an adjustment layer and simply blur it a little bit with a Gaussian blur and use the shirt as a track mat. Now, wherever it hits the shirt, it gets blurred as if the shirt would soak it in. Pretty intense, huh? Okay, but we still have a lot to do. So, let's bring in our head. And let's again key it as we did before. And for the fine detail on my beard, I'm again using the roto brush tool. This time, the refine edge tool that you get by clicking and holding on the tool itself. Okay, the head is isolated. But when we play this, we can see that it looks strange as it is moving as I wasn't standing still. So to get some footage to actually work with, let us stabilize the shot. And we could do this in Mocha by simply tracking it and inverting the keyframes but let's do it within the built-in tracker in After Effects. Let's right-click on the footage, go to Track and Stabilize and Track Motion. And here we can click on Stabilize Motion. And now let's define what we want to stabilize. So we want position and rotation. And that gives me two trackers. And a tracker consists out of two boxes. The small box is the pattern that the tracker will look for in the next frame within the bigger box. So I just place both of them as far from each other as possible to avoid some extra chitter. So think about it if you want to balance something on two fingers. It is way easier if you, if you spread the fingers. So let's click on Analyze Forward and once done, click on Apply. And voila, we have a stabilized, separated head to work with. Yes, we are getting somewhere. So, again, let's add some blood elements from Action VFX. 
maybe also use some of their stills and mask out gory parts. And now let's parent this to the head. So when we move the head, the blood follows. So only two steps to get this to a final version. At first, let's track my fist. And I am pretty lucky to have rings. So I can simply track one of them. In the same way I did the stabilizing. I only need the position for this and no rotation. And I also want to save this data in a null object. So I could also attach other stuff to it. So let's create a null object and select it by clicking on the edit target button. Let's track the ring and hit apply. Now the null follows the ring. And when we parent our head to the null, the head follows as well. And so does the blood. So the last thing we need to do now is to drag in our still of the fist into the shot. Mask it out and add it on top of the fist we used for the tracking. And we can also use the clone stem tool now to integrate the hair even more if needed. And this also works in layer mode. Click on the clone stem tool and when you hold down alt you get this indicator. And with this you click on the area you want to sample. And now you can paint and it will take the information from there. And by the way, I stole this trick from the new Spider-Man movie, where we could not get a perfect key of MJ's hair when Spidey was swinging with her. So we simply copied over parts of the hair that were working on parts that weren't that great. So even from different takes. And okay, if we scale up the head now a little bit, this looks even cooler as it looks as we would have had our hand even closer to the camera. And once you understood this visual trick, you will see it everywhere in commercials. And this also helps covering up our real fist. Okay, as a last compositing touch, let's add an adjustment layer beneath all our head assets and add a camera lens blur effect. Because now our head is in focus or the background is out of focus. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for. How can you win the free subscription for all the action VFX assets? And when we quickly take a look at their page, you see that they have a variety of different categories. So from explosions and fire to assets like sports crowds. And of course, all the blood elements that I used for today's video. All of this is production ready. and well thought out. So meaning professional codecs, pre-keyed, perfect framing. Yes, all of you who have ever needed to comp in an explosion that is cut off at the side know what I'm talking about. And on this page you also find a lot of free assets. Also there are a few plans to choose from with their new subscription based offerings called AVFX Plus. Simply leave me a comment and tell me which action footage you would use for one of your upcoming projects. And I will simply pick one as a winner in my next tutorial. Hey, and did you know that I also answer all of my comments? Try it out. But for now, I wish you a lot of horror in After Effects.